weekend uh, was a little bit of a challenge, you would say. I woke up Saturday morning to a flooded basement. A couple inches of water on the floor. So what happened was, if you look at the pictures here, the supply line between the faucet and the turnoff valve decided that it wasn't going to be fully attached anymore. So water was spraying out of there for several hours during the night. And I'm just so thankful that it did not happen while I was in Grand Cayman the previous week and water would be going gushing out from under the sink for several days, even a week, versus an entire, um, you know, just some during the night for a few hours. So a few hours versus days. Yeah, I got off pretty good there, I think. So one of the other reasons that I started this vlog series is to help me to speak better, have a better vocabulary when I talk to people or on camera, especially when I teach. So part of that is reorganizing my words, my vocabulary, because my brain is still stuck a lot in that mom brain mush mode where it's difficult to just even get words to go from your brain and out of your mouth because you've been caring for small children and staying up at night, things like that. And your vocabulary really shrinks. So I'm really working at expanding, expanding my vocabulary and speaking better. I have found in just doing this, these few episodes, there are several phrases and words that I find my brain automatically going to. And I'm going to try to get rid of those phrases and words out of my vocabulary as much as possible. And I'm going to ask you, my friends, to help me with that, please. So I'm going to tell you the words and phrases that I am having issues with, and then we're going to look at some, um, some alternative words and phrasings that I can use. And I would love if you would comment below with other phrases and words that, that you like to use or you think would be good to use. So the first word that I use a lot of, that I need to get rid of, is the word awesome. I say that a lot. And so let's take a look at some of the other words that I could use instead of awesome. Astonishing, beautiful, awe-inspiring, breathtaking, impressive, ooh, I like this one, magnificent, shocking and stunning, wonderful and wondrous. My brain can comprehend, I think, a few at a time um, into its memory. I can't do a whole lot. Okay, instead of using the word awesome so much, I'm going to use the words incredible or wonderful. Okay, so the next phrase that I have issues with is, oh my gosh. Yeah, I am, I, I way overuse that one. Actually, it shouldn't be used at all in my vocabulary, so I'm going to eradicate it completely, and you guys will hold me accountable for that. Let's look this one up. Good heavens. Mercy's sakes. My word. Cool. Yeah, that one's overused. Oh dear. Criminy. G. Wilkers. Inconceivable. <laughs> Jumpin' Jehoshaphat. Holy moly. Ay caramba. Yeah, this might be a little more difficult. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, for heaven's sake. Goodness gracious. Holy cow. My stars. Okay, I really don't know which one of these I should replace oh my gosh with. Or which several, because you don't want to overuse one phrase over and over again. So how about you let me know which phrase is, which phrases you find are more acceptable than, oh my gosh. And that is what I will work on. So besides, 
awesome and oh my gosh. The other thing I'm trying to eradicate from my vocabulary are those pesky uh and so, you know, those types of things. So if you find me instead pausing and there's just blank space, that is me making my brain pause and not say and or sit here and go, uh, those types of things. So I really, truly am really working on this. So if you guys, ah, I did it again. Okay. If you all wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel, you can also give me a thumbs up and a comment on the YouTube video and on my blog post or on the Facebook post, wherever you guys like to comment the best. But please do be sure to follow me. You can follow me on YouTube, on my blog, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, any of those places that are your favorite social media. You can find me at Tyann Marsink or at Marsink Designs. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a wonderful week and we'll talk to you later.